Hi guys, uh, I thought I'd make an extra video today um, for those of you that have got any woodworking tools at home and some scrap wood and would like to make something with some more resistant materials. Now, I'm mainly making these videos for my year 10 students and I'm aware that people haven't got many materials at home, but I had some feedback from some that they had some wood and would like some ideas of what to do with wood. So this is an extra lesson for those of you that want to get outside or into a workshop space or anywhere you've got to make some stuff uh, and have a go at making one of our products that we're working on for our initial design ideas for the phone or tablet stand um, out of some wood. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. For this, I'm gonna use a pallet. This is a broken part of a pallet that we were burning some of the other night um, and I've got a bit left. So I'm gonna just cut a couple of sections off and use that to make a couple of basic phone stands. But you can use anything, any type of wood you've got. If you've got some thin wood at home, uh, like tongue and groove or MDF, you can do a more interlocking design in exactly the same way as you did with the card. Um, with this, I'm gonna cut some uh, channels into it with a tenon saw um, to house the phone and the iPad, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to use them to make my videos in future. Cheers. So I've cut down the pallet into a couple of smaller bits. I'm just gonna get this piece off here with a uh, claw hammer. These nails here can be very hard to remove. If you've got a crowbar, that's amazing, excellent. Um, if you've got a claw hammer, you can try it. If not, you'll have to hit them in and then avoid cutting through them. So I've prepared my two pieces of wood. Uh, I'm now gonna mark them out and cut them down to size. I'm gonna try a repositionable stand. Um, so I'm gonna have, this piece is the base, cleaned up, nice and neat. And I'm gonna have uh, some of this block as a repositionable component on the design. So I've cut that piece nice and square-ish, uh, and now I'm gonna, I've marked out a channel the width of my phone, which I'm gonna cut uh, halfway down. I'm now gonna knock that out with a, with a chisel. Make sure you work away from yourself. If you don't have a chisel, you can do a series of cuts in a line uh, and then knock the bit out with a file or use the saw to lever it out from the side, like so, when you've done several cuts. Just using a, a panel saw, as you saw before, saw before. Right? I've cut out um, the base with a channel in and a triangle from the bigger block. Now, I was thinking originally I'd position this this way so the phone could rest against it, but I just had a thought from my previous design. If I had a series of dowels or sticks along there that fit into there, I could change how close it was, therefore changing the angle that I could place the screen. Now, I know no one's got any dowel probably lying around at home, so uh, I've had an idea. So, so a dowel is basically a, a round section of stick. Comes generally in like six and four mil. Like this, yeah, but you probably won't have this lying around. But what we will have lying around, I'm sure, is some pencils. Now a pencil is about eight millimeters. I happen to have a 7.5 mil uh, drill bit, which is perfect because it will have a snug fit and it won't wobble around. But a uh, seven or an eight would do fine. Um, or you can leave this stage and just glue it on if you don't have any of those things. So I'm just going to mark it out a few different positions to place the design. You don't need a tri-square, but it's very useful.
Now I've got my grid, I'm just gonna drill out my holes. Now it's only a rough uh, piece of work, of course, but I wanna teach you proper techniques. So I'm gonna drill a pilot hole so it centers nice and neatly using uh, a three mil wood drill bit. And now switch back to the seven, eight, or ideally 7.5. I'm now going to mark two corresponding holes on the base of this. So find the centre roughly. And they were 40 mil apart. But it depends what scale you're working on. And I'm just going to draw them in the same way. Right now we're going back to the, the poor pencil. Hopefully you've got quite a few. If you don't consider gluing it on or using something else. You could use sections of a broken pencil. You aren't actually gonna see it, but you could make a design that just used this and the pencils that would make a phone stand that's repositionable or an iPad stand and is also a stationary holder. The way that I would cut these is with a coping saw. If you don't have a coping saw, you can use a Stanley knife and just carefully roll the pencil to make your cut. And then snap. So here's the finished product, a uh, pallet wood and pencil phone holder with some Memphis inspiration. Uh, if you're feeling like it, you could put other joints into here to add in more stationary, but you can see it does the job really well I can position my phone nice and securely compared to yesterday's card model, hold it in very well. You could also consider using a thicker piece of wood, drilling through here and running a channel with your saw along the base for a charging dock. Now, the wood I've used is quite rough and that is reflected in the quality of finish. But we're thinking about prototyping ideas and occupying ourselves and this is a brilliant thing to do. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah, thanks very much.